In just a few hours, Toronto City Hall will start debating a new motion to defund the Toronto Police by 10 percent. The motion would divert roughly $122 million instead to community programs. City Councillor Josh Matlow introduced the motion and he joins us here this morning. Also, he used to be my city councillor. It's great to see you, Josh. Uh, thank you for... I miss uh, you, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for being here and laying this out for us. Now, some of the programs that you would move that money to include community-led policing alternatives, anti-racism anti education, affordable housing, and food security. Uh, do you have yeah. support? Do you have the votes at City Council for today's uh, Council debate? It, uh, it looks unlikely, although we're going to find out in a few hours. Um, you know, I, I, I personally have been on a journey where I've had to listen to voices and not only listen, but, but really try to understand why this is so important to start moving money from the single largest line item in, in the city of Toronto's operating budget, which has doubled over the past 20 years, and dedicate it towards alternatives to policing and invest directly in, into our communities to make them safer. And I'm hoping that the mayor and council will, will listen to not only those voices, but the evidence that supports what they're asking for and demonstrates that they're right. Now, Josh, your motion is also calling on the province to amend the Police Services Act so City Council has the power to cut specific items from the police budget. Now, your motion is one of the earliest that we've seen on defunding police. Yeah. Uh, do you feel that because you're doing this now, amending the act could allow City Council the freedom uh, to add new measures or change directions? If you see a best practice in another city that you can you can pivot, is that the plan? Well, it, it only makes sense. I mean, it, 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 we have this absurd system in Ontario and here in Toronto where city council is tasked to fund the majority of the police budget, but it can't actually not only control the budget, we as members of council can't actually see the line-by-line -line budget that we are investing in. It is absurd. That's got to change. Uh, both for accountability, but also so that we actually know where that money is going and if it's uh, if it's uh, actually supporting the safety of our communities. Uh, Mayor John Tory is also tabling a motion today aimed at police reform. It calls for, in concept, in theory, many of the same things that your motion does, minus the budget cuts. Why do you feel that the money is a big part of this? Well, it's one thing to announce that we want to do things, but if you don't budget for them, they don't happen. Uh, the, you know, the, the mayor's motion uh, has a lot of the similar uh, rhetoric to mine, and, and, and there's some good stuff in there. Um, I, you know, I, I encourage, well, I'm going to be supporting much of what's in there. I'm going to be encouraging my colleagues to as well. However, uh, the, the big difference between our motions is that mine actually moves forward with defunding, reallocating funds from the police budget and put it towards alternatives to policing and our communities. And the mayor's motion actually increases the police budget by tens of millions of dollars. Hey, Josh, I don't, so I don't want to interrupt. Be the debate. I don't want to interrupt. But I want to get one last question in really quick. We only have a, yeah. a few seconds left. What do you say to those who are watching right now who say you're cutting 10 percent from the police budget? Are, are you making Toronto less safe? What do you say to that? No, not at all. I, you know, everything from enforcing the Highway Traffic Act to solving crimes, those things need to happen. This wouldn't affect that at all. What I want is Toronto to be safer for all of us, including black, indigenous and people of color who are not as safe as they need to be today, who are disproportionately brutalized. And that needs to change. And that's what I'm asking for. Uh, Josh, thank you so much for being here. As we said, one of the early uh, earliest moves to defund police is happening here in the city of Toronto. Uh, we appreciate your time for laying it out for us today. Ben, thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.